All right, for this video, we're gonna sign in to SAS Studio or SAS On Demand for Academics and then go to SAS Studio. And once we're signed in, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on what it will look like when you might import a second data set. And just so you get some familiarity with where these uh, data get placed with inside the system because it's important to kind of recognize this from a uh, you know a code driven standpoint because at some point we're going to need to use code because not everything you might want is included in the drop down menus on SAS Studio and it's also good to know that you know, when you've logged out and you log back in, you may not have uh, all your stuff here. So, you know, you can save some of this stuff, but if you haven't saved anything, um, you'll have to rerun your code. So I've got it uploaded in here and it saved that, but the import did not get saved. So I have to rerun this. So I'm gonna go ahead and rerun it. And now I've got everything imported. Now, look where, I'm going to go to my uh, code here. See, it's putting it at work.import. The the proc import data file refile, and then where does it the out? Where does it put it at? It puts it at this space called work.import. So that's what makes it available for us to be able to use. We're going to whenever we do any stats, the the drop down menu has to tell us to use the work.import. That's where it's placed. I'm going to bring in another data set. So I'm going to choose files. I'm going to pull in this Kenya data underscore stata 11.dta. I'm going to upload it. Now, again, uploading it doesn't do much other than just kind of put it here uh, in some space saying I'm ready to be imported when you double click on. So I'm going to double click on this Kenya data stata 11. And when I double click on it, it again provides this code and it knows that work.import is taken so it has added this number one behind it so I don't know if it'll let me alter that or not in here but there's a way we can do our own code um, I'll show you that in a future video but it's important to know that it's being saved as work.import1 all right and then I have to use the running thing right there click on the run it's brought it in there. I can look at output data and we can see this is our, you know, the, the Kenya uh, drinking water and illness data set. Now, getting into the beginning of using summary stats and why that import one versus import. And if I bring something else in it, it's probably gonna be import two. Why this is important. So even though I might have that clicked or that clicked, it doesn't really matter. What matters when I click on task and utilities and say I want to do any type of statistics with either one of these data sets, say I want to look at some summary stats on, you know, whichever one of these, when I click on, you know, the opportunity to pick on a variable, the only variables that are here are those that are associated with work.import. If I want to change this, that's not going to work. I have to actually you know, go to here to these libraries. So it automatically picks that for me, my libraries, and it goes to the work library and there's one here called import one. So I can switch back and forth between these. So I'll pick on import one right now. So for import one, the analysis variables, you know, I know I've got uh, some continuous data in here on something like, uh, Okay, the log E. coli levels are continuous. I can click on OK, and it has already prepared this set of of a uh, you know code here that are for this program. And I can hit the running running guy, and it goes ahead and gives me the log E. coli mean, minimum, and maximum. If I want to do the age for whatever reason on the e-cigarette data set, this particular data set, if you recall um, from using it before, it had a, a variable called new age and age um, that uh, 
variable is continuous, so you may be interested in doing some summary statistics. And if I want to focus on that one, I have to click on the work.import file. So work.import. And now when I click up, or not up, but click on the plus sign for a variable, I can click on age and it will pull it up. So those are little bits and pieces of information that you're going to need to hang on to because you can see in the command here it's saying proc means and it's telling it where the data are at. It's saying the data are at work.import. If that said work.import1, we're in the wrong data set. And I still have to click on the running guy and when I do it gives us the mean age which, you know, if you were to zoom in really close, you can see it's a uh, 20.03, minimum was 18 because IRB said we weren't allowed to have 17 year olds in the study. Um, well, we didn't ask to have them in there. And then the maximum among students that were enrolled in our gen ed classes uh, that did the survey was 52. And so that's easy enough. So that's running just the basic summary stats and understanding that work.import versus work.import two, three, four, five, however many files you potentially have in there. So I'm gonna stop this video here and we're gonna start using the summary statistics and doing some other work.